What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys. So I thank you so, so very much. And yes, we're still dealing with pandemic life. And people are out here losing jobs, dealing with a lot of just emotional stress, PTSD and all. So today, I have a very special guest with me. He is the founder and CEO of Armor Down Meditation Cushion, but he is also a veteran. All right, so he served our wonderful country. He is a Purple Heart recipient. He served over in the Iraq War and continues to promote benefits of meditation. The wonderful Ben King. Hey, Ben. <laughs> what up, Ash? Thanks for having me on. Uh, not a problem. Thank you so much for joining us. So, Ben, what part of the country are you at right now? Uh, I am in the area of Richmond, Virginia. Ooh, Richmond, Virginia. So what kind of weather are you guys getting out there? Uh, well, a couple days ago, it was cold, nasty, and rainy. Mm. Right now, the sky is blue, and there's a little bit of warmth in the air. I was outside this afternoon with my daughter, and I felt the, uh, the warmth of the sun and got to see the blue sky, and it was nice. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. All right, Ben, so let's start off from... When did you, when did you get introduced to meditation and mindfulness? Uh, I was about about two years after I returned from overseas in Iraq, so around two thousand ten. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. And what was that like for you? Like, what was that experience like? Well, it was it, before mindfulness. It was my mind controlled me. Mm. And after mindfulness, it felt like I had more control over my mind. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, let's talk about um, some post-traumatic growth through mindfulness and meditation. What did you learn? Um, That when we go through trauma and we go through really, really hard times, there's a part of us that's automatic. It's called the um, sympathetic side of your nervous system, Mm -hmm. and that's the fight side that's the Mm. the side that helps us be fighters that never gives up that keeps pushing forward even when things are really really hard Mm. and that um that part of us can get stuck and if it gets stuck on on it's hard to reconnect to our hearts and connect connect to the things that make life meaningful Mm. gotcha gotcha so how did the cushion come about we were trying to reach really up-armored people. An up-armored person is someone who's stuck on fight, stuck on got to protect, got to stay vigilant, got to keep pushing, got to keep moving forward. So that was the veteran community. Mm. Now it's a lot like the pandemic community, right? Because yeah. before the pandemic, life was, you know, it was, I mean, it was hard, but before the pandemic, there wasn't something that everyone could relate to. Mm. Well, in the veteran community... If you'd served overseas, that the, the war experience was something that kept us armored up, right? Mm. So that put our, put our armor up. Right. And so um, when, you, when you are kind of stuck in that spot, it's really hard to reconnect to the things that make life worth living. So to, to find ways to connect to people who are that up armored, right. we had to get creative. And one of the ways we did it was by using meditation cushions as a way for veterans to connect by going and honoring fallen service members over Memorial Day mm. by sitting on meditation cushions and offering what we called mindful moments of gratitude. Mm. And so we connected something that already made a veteran uh, like feel something, which yeah. was honoring a fallen service member. So it was a way to get around the armor by connecting to something that we knew the veteran was already connected to, which was honoring the fallen. And that was how we created the meditation cushion in the first place. Mm, Gotcha, gotcha. So in the creation of it, when did you come to the realization that this was actually going to help a lot of people, maybe, you know, beyond just service members and veterans? 
when we realize that there's lots of members of the community that just want to share in open heart expressions of gratitude and compassion. Mm -hmm. So the cushions come in two parts. There's an inner part and an outer part. The outer part is tough as nails, just Mm -hmm. like warriors. Mm -hmm. But the inner part is compassionate. And the way we made the inner Mm -hmm. part compassionate was by inviting children, especially young people, students, to write words of encouragement, words of gratitude, symbols on the insides of the cushions. Mm. So what what made the cushions powerful outside of the community was when we showed people outside of the community of the warrior, hey, you can participate with your open heart, and when you open your heart, it gives people a chance to open theirs. Mm. I love that. Very, very beautiful. So as the pandemic obviously has loomed on, you know, every on the entire world, would you say that it has kind of pushed people to consider mindfulness more? I hope so. As a culture, I think we're getting better at recognizing that our minds right. can be influenced in ways that are not kind of weird or far out. It's kind of like before, you know, before before exercise and fitness was a big deal, people didn't pay any attention to it. Mm. But now everyone understands fitness. It's part of our culture. Right. Well, before, before, kind of before the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, the concepts of mindfulness and even yoga to a certain degree were still, th- still things that were kind of on the fringe of our culture. Now they're more ingrained in the culture, and now we're starting to see that it's really, really important. And just like, you know, taking care of your body, you can take care of your mind. Right, right. Last but certainly not least, what advice would you offer to anyone out there that is considering starting a new business, starting a new platform, but they just, they don't know how to to start off? Um, Subtract the notion of time. So get rid of it. Ask yourself, what would something that I had an unlimited amount of time to create? Mm. There was no time limit. What if I had no time? What would I create that would potentially last for my lifetime and my kids' lifetime, Mm. generationally? Something that could grow And it didn't have to grow immediately. It didn't have to be like a unicorn or a hockey stick or however the like entrepreneur community like mainstream calls it. But what if you created something without worrying about time? Mm, I love that. Ben King, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. (laughs) Ben, let everyone know, of course, where they can go and they can get their cushion and they can get some more information about you guys on social media. Yeah, go to armordown.com. That'll take you wherever you need to go. We also are uh, offering live streaming every morning for free on Facebook and YouTube. I love it. Much more success to you and your team, Ben. Keep it up. Keep the good vibrations going and flowing and changing people's lives. I love it. Roger that. Thanks, Ash. No problem. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.